Now, if you know me well, then you might know that I have a lot of strong opinions about certain things. I think that SpongeBob SquarePants should have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I think House of Mallow should be on Disney Plus, and I think time zones are weird. But there is one thing that I have a very, very strong opinion about, and it has something to do with the concept of Disney Legends. Now, if you don't know what a Disney Legend is, it's basically like an award. It's like the highest honor given to someone that has, you know, contributed to the Disney Company in some shape or form. Many people over the years have gotten this kind of honor. Uh, Betty White, Robin Williams, Elton John, Steve Martin, Dick Van Dyke, the Sherman Brothers, Randy Newman, James Earl Jones, and even recently Miley Cyrus. But there's one particular person that I think really should become a Disney legend. And I'm talking about legendary voice actor Jim Cummings. And I'm not just saying that out of bias because I met Jim twice in the past. Yeah. <laughs> Are you at home now? Yeah, I'm at home. Yeah, I see you have some uh, friends of mine there visiting you. And he actually did follow me on Twitter before I left. I'm not even kidding on that. No, it's because he's contributed so much to Disney like over the years and don't say that voice actors aren't good enough to become a Disney legend because many voice actors in animation have gotten this honor such as uh, Bill Farmer who of course is the longtime voice of uh, Goofy and Pluto Tony Anselmo who does the voice of Donald Duck and even the late Wayne Allwine and Rusey Taylor the voices of Mickey and Minnie Mouse so yeah you know, ironically, the original voice of Winnie the Pooh, Sterling Holloway, he became a Disney legend himself. So, <laughs> ironic, isn't it? I mean, isn't that enough evidence to prove that, like, Jim should be considered a Disney legend? I mean, come on, he's the voice of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. And Pete. And Darkwing Duck. And Ray the Firefly. And also King Triton in the third Little Mermaid movie. Oh yeah, and he also did the singing voice of Scar for like half of Be Prepared in The Lion King. <laughs> so yeah, he's done, he's contributed so much to Disney over the years. <laughs> At this point, it's amazing that he hasn't been considered a Disney legend yet. I, for one, think he should get that honor. What do you think? Anyways, it's not up for me to decide, obviously. It's not up to the fans to decide. It's it's to Disney. It's to whoever is in charge of, like, inducting certain people to be Disney legends. This is just my opinion on this whole thing. And, uh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe about, like, uh, two years from now, maybe two, four years or whatever, this video may end up aging well. Never know. <laughs> yeah.